Hi everyone, so today I'm going to start with a new video format on my channel, so I'm trying to uh, perform much uh, better the instruction. So I don't want to talk or to bother you too much today, so I will go straight to the point, but um, first of all I want to thank you for subscribing to my channel. When I started this channel I didn't expect it to have subscribers, I just wanted to show the people some uh, information that um, I have discovered on this uh, scooter. But uh, I see that uh, this channel will grow really nice, so uh, I hope this uh, will grow uh, more than that. We are going to talk about Forte V mode. And uh, I'm going to present you a new method um, about how to connect a 12 battery to your 36 internal battery. So um, this will result in a 40 volt battery. This will help you to connect your 12 uh, volt battery to your 36 internal one. So when you flip on position one, it uh, will activate your internal battery. When you flip on position zero or off, your scooter will be turned off. You will not be able to turn it on only if you go again to position one or if you are going to position two. Position two will activate your 12 volt battery so that uh, will be connected with your internal one and uh, that will result 48 volt and uh, for example if you don't want to use this battery anymore you can switch to position one and this second battery will be disconnected I want to explain you once again why this switch inside of this you don't have to open your bag and uh, disconnect the 12 volt battery and uh, connect this. We progress to XT90 connector, anti spark plug. So when uh, we connected uh, our 12 volt battery, it didn't spark anymore. I ordered the switch and uh, I managed to make all the connection in order to switch on 36 and also switch on 48V mode. So, let me show you how to do the connections. So this one, this will go to your controller and the another one, it will go to your battery, okay? And now, this cable, it's running to your bag and there will be your 12 volt battery. So for example, if you wanted to take it out, you had to open your bag, okay? And then uh, disconnect. So this is your battery. I took this out. This was uh, actually cable that was coming from there. Now when uh, I wanted to start the scooter, it won't power on until you don't plug this in. So after uh, I plugged this in, I was able to start the scooter. And then I had to close the bag again and. connection and uh, I solder those ones okay 
I isolated them on, on the back exactly like uh, I did with this. I take this wire and I connect it right here in the middle. Then uh, this is the minus, okay? Not plus anymore, and now it's minus. And this is also not minus anymore, and now it's plus. And I connect it also in the middle, but on the other side. It doesn't matter on which side you connect it. Both sides will work, okay? And now, this is your plus, okay? So you have to connect the minus from, from battery to plus, okay? And now you take the plus from battery and you connect it to the minus. This is our connection now. So now we are going to install the switch. I cut a hole in order to fit uh, the switch in. So I'm going to put it like this with a position one in the top. Okay, now the switch is in the place. Now, those are the cables that are coming from your internal battery. As I said, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter in which order you install them. So now we are going to fit in our battery. And right here, I have a parallel connection. One wire will be connected to display. And one, it is connected to my charging port. Okay. Now, you have to connect uh, your minus to your plus. And your plus to your minus. Okay. Uh, be sure that the switch is in closed position because when you connect this wire, it will spark. So I'm going to connect plus the minus, and then the minus to my plus. Okay. And then you connect this parallel connection, and it will show you many boards we still have in our external 12 volt battery okay now we close the back and there we go now i don't have to open my bag every time when i want to safely charge my, my external battery or when I don't want to use it anymore switch position zero so it is closed now when I try to start it will not start okay so then when I switch to position one and I put the router on if I'm going to close the switch my scooter will turn off and if I'm going to position two my scooter will turn on again on the 48D mode. Now I switch to position one. I'll go 30 kilometers per hour. And if I switch to position two, kilometers per hour so as you saw that was the installation of the switch it is a easy installation and uh, if you have any questions let me know bye